face after the face or whatever. You learn that you have to keep your head and shoulders off the floor the whole time you're on the ground. You want to move your head back and you want to always have your hips spinning. Right? And now all the tacks from the bottom happens in an angle of like 45 degrees to your body. Right? Now I'm going to make it complicated. And then I'm going to make it more complicated. Right? Number one rule when one was introduced and never got frustrated because, you know, it's like learning to play drums or whatever. It's just complicated sometimes. But, you know, I'm still learning 21 years of practicing. I'm going forward. And say that I have the setup and the guy keep, keep following me, getting closer to me, right? Let's go back to this side here so everybody can see because all the details will be on this side. Uh, just go down. So everybody can see. Got the Kimura from here. So what I have to do now, I have to scoot out we call it hipscape or shrimping. And I'm going to try to get the foot at the same side. Everything is happening almost like at the side that I'm attacking. So I'm going to scoot out and get my foot right in front of his hip. What this is doing is, it's preventing him from getting closer to me. He tries to get closer, I move out. I'm not pushing him. I'm using him because he has a nice base, two knees on the floor, foot on the floor, feet on the floor. He's more stuck to the ground than I am. I'm sideways. I don't have my back on the ground. I'm going to scoot out and see this knee here. I'm going to try to bring in front of him. The lock, I don't let go for anything. All right? This is like everything I have. That's my life right here. Okay? Now, see this knee and this leg? I'm going to get in here. All right? And now I'm going to get both legs inside and I go. I don't roll. If I roll, I'm going to miss the position. I go on my knees. All right? The arm that I had behind his arm, this one here, you guys see? I keep it and I bring my hand on my chest, on my shoulder. All right? You guys can see? See, my knees 90 degrees to the ground. I can post his hand on the ground and now I turn my hips into him. I don't need to flip him, I don't need to do anything here. I'm going to pinch my knees together. I'm doing this with my knees. Squeezing it together. His thumb away from my chest. And then from here, I tap him. It's simple. I mean, yeah, I have to convince you guys that it's simple. <laughs> I open. I was going for the regular tumor that I was going using the knee. All right, that's a quicker setup. All right, so in here, boom. Oh, sorry, yes. All right. No thumb. And then he keeps following me. So I shoot out. See how I bring my thigh to the ground? Foot on his hip. Hip ball right here. Or thigh, hip. All his legs. Shoot out. Bring my knee here. This leg comes over. But meanwhile, I'm not letting go of the hook. Okay? Uh, the, hook, uh, the control. Both legs together. I'm rotating on my shoulder. Get on my knees. I turn on my forearms here. Same arm that was behind his arm. I sink, control, and look, my hand came to my shoulder. Forehead is on the ground. Now I'm turning this way here. I can stop at 45 here too. I don't need to go try to flip him. But I should never, see my hip is off the floor? I should never go here. You can tap him, but he will have more chances to escape. So I keep on my knees. Shoulder, now pinch my knees together here, and I go right here, all right? That's intermediate, and I'm gonna make it really complicated. Open, lock, he's following me the whole time, so now I need to look. See, foot on his head. So now I'm pushing him away. But actually what's really happening is that I am moving away. So I look, this leg is totally free. Alright? Bring my leg in. Both legs under him. Switch this grip here. I keep it and bring here. Hand on the ground. Here. 
Squeeze your knees together. So silent. Alright, and keep going. Okay? Let's try. 